Yo, what it do guys and welcome back to a, another video. Today we're going to look into focus farming and how to earn up to 200,000 focus standing in just 5 minutes of work. So to begin, we will be heading over to Sedna Adaro. This is the highest Grinia exterminate mission, so all kills here are going to be worth more affinity. Exterminate missions require you to eliminate a certain amount of enemies before you extract. As the enemies are scattered over the map, we want to kill them whilst they are unaware of our presence. This is called a stealth kill. Whenever you kill an unaware enemy for a stealth kill, you will receive a bonus of affinity starting at 100% and capping at a maximum of 500% per kill. So you additionally will get 100% every kill that you keep going up to a maximum of 5 kills for 500%. So the idea is to kill unalerted enemies throughout the mission to receive bonus affinity per kill. Your bonus affinity has a duration, however, so every new kill will help reset it in your favor. So make sure to keep your eyes on your bonus affinity and keep it alive. Every kill here counts. To do this method, I'm actually going to show you one Warframe as an example of who does this job very well. This will be Equinox. Equinox should remain in her night form. Then, she wants to cast her rest ability on unalerted enemies from a distance. This will put enemies to sleep and keep them remained in an unalerted state. All we have to do now is bring a strong enough weapon to one-shot that enemy. Keep in mind, we want to sleep enemies who may witness another enemy dying. So, make sure if there are any enemies nearby, to sleep those enemies as well before killing the enemy of your choice and your choosing. Remember, no witnesses, no alerts. Focus lenses will return a portion of focus back to your daily focus standing per kill. It depends on the type of lens you are using, but for this, I am currently using a Lua lens on my weapon, and a Lua lens on my Warframe. As I kill with my weapon, the affinity is being shared between my weapon and Warframe, so I'm making sure I have good lenses on both to increase the standing. During the mission, you will notice a yellow blinking orb. This is called an, a Convergence Orb. When, when picked up, it will only last around 50 seconds. During this time, it is important to kill as many enemies as fast as possible, as all focus standing gained is multiplied by 8. So you have your normal affinity on the lens conversion rate, you're going to times that by 8. So whenever you get a focus uh, orb, get out there. Keep killing. Just a reminder for you, you will need... Uh, practice doing this so don't go so hard on yourself to get results as soon as possible instead for your first couple of runs go slow learn the tile set learn the range of your ability learn the range of your weapon and over time the more practice you do uh, the better you will get you will get faster at this another tip to mention is to open your mini map at the very beginning of the mission so it's right next to your warframe on the keyboards you can simply do this by pressing the letter m Forgive me, for, uh, forgive me console players as I do not know the command. Regardless, this will help you go faster, as your eyes will not need to scan further and instead focus in the direction ahead of yourself. This is efficiency. As for builds I am running, I will put them up on the screen as I continue to talk about them and other things, but I am currently running Equinox and a Plague Krippith. Now, you can use these builds as rough guidelines on what you are looking to mod for to help you with this focus farm. Please keep in mind, however, on the Equinox, you do not need the Augment Carmen Frenzy. It is not a necessity, it is a luxury. It will really help, however. It has saved me a few times from resetting and losing my Affinity Bonus and having to start to build it up again. So it is a, it is a very good mod to go and throw in there, but it's not a necessity. Using Naramon Focus School will also give you a bonus affinity from kills done by melee weapons. Again, not a necessity, but as you can tell, self-explanatory, self it really helps. As for the companion, I mostly use Helios with a Gladiator mod set on his Deconstructor Prime um, to help with uh, help build up more criticals. However, you can run Smeeter as well and try that luck for a charm proc. Um, I do find Smeeter sometimes a little bit inconsistent as she can go aggressive, but for the most part, I try to go ahead and run Helios and you should be fine even without a Smeeter, but she can help out here massively. Uh, there are a few other Warframes who can also do a good job with this method on Sedna Adaro for focus farming. Uh, for people who struggle and you need more help, if this is too hard for you, consider using the Warframe Ivara. 
Not only can she sleep enemies with her quiver, her one ability, but she can also cloak herself on her third ability. This will give you an extra layer of making more room for errors, so you will be able to cloak yourself, they won't see you, sleep them, and then off you go. Whereas with Equinox, you do want to make sure you're not seen and sleep them from a distance. Now, for people who want to go even faster than Equinox, but you have to go faster with this method, you can try Banshee and her silence. Um, this is a method that I personally don't really prefer to choose, as I can make more errors with this method. However, I've seen a few people run this Banshee method for focus farming. Um, you will silence the enemy, and they will do an animation where they grab their heads. During that time, you want to kill them. Um, so... This method is still extremely, extremely effective, but like I said, there's more room, way more room for uh, error in that one, so keep that in mind. Um, using energy pads at the start of the mission will also help you get into the focus farming nice and quick, and if you do need any extra energy, you can go and pad yourself around, so do try and bring some energy pads. However, this is the entire method that I've showcased here. If you do have any questions, please go and leave a comment down below. I try to keep this as sweet and as short as possible. As always, thank you guys so much for watching the video today. I really do appreciate it. If you do like it and if it did help you, please go ahead and leave a rating. I'd appreciate a thumbs up as it goes ahead and supports me and continue doing this. If you did like what you saw here today and you're not subscribed, consider hitting the subscribe button. Outside of that, if you've got any questions, if you need any help, consider leaving a comment down below and I will try to get around to it whenever I can. Overall, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good day and I'll catch you guys again in the next video.